Hello there, my influential members of Lycan Air. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Lycan Legion, Episode 60, Western Favor. Well, all this rain is definitely helping the fertility of the hayfields. It has 188% fertility. So, once they're all done, it'll be real nice. So the other thing I wanted to do in here is to uh, hook up some some skylights. I might want to consider going through much of the uh, colony and um, illuminate it with skylights instead of torches to save on wood because the it's the amount of wood demand is quite high and then the other problem is cutting it down is like okay but then hauling it is just a real pain so we'll see the um ray gagu and the new guy should be back um Probably before the loop or Kalia. And then, what do we do with combo? So that's what I'm going to pull on here. So he's an iron wield, fast learner, um, good in combat, mining, plants, and medical. No health conditions, baseliner. And not, um, not unwavering. So, keep as a prisoner for sale, which would be weird, but fine. Enslave, citizen, or execute. Now that it is, um... Temperate and raining. I think I'm going to close the... Wow, they are out of hay. I'm going to close the hay storages so that the animals have to eat grazed food. Uh, I just tried to close it on a muffalo. Yeah, there we go. Because all this rain is going to make the grasses grow better, and there should be a lot more food to um, to graze on as a as a result. You two horses. Let's see. Is probably like, why did I pull short straw and had to run around all the barns, stepping on horse poo? There we go. Rug is done. Now, there is one piece that is a bit outstanding, which is the art to spruce up that last bedroom. With that said, the quest that you had me accept includes art, so we can install that grand statue in the bedroom if the bedroom isn't uh, high enough quality. It's very impressive now. It needs to go up about 19 points to hit extremely. So we'll see after Scala installs the rug whether uh, it's good enough. Hello, visitors. Oh, Pluto. Two Plutos. Bunch of Plutonians. Plutonites. Grant citizenship to combo. So combo is going to have to get converted, and then we'll be granted citizenship. So once they uh, bring him all the way in, he's going to get arrested because he believes in the loyal creed, and that's going to have to change. It's going to be tough to change him because he's iron willed. Yeah, that's going to be rough. But yeah, oh well. Iron Will would be great once he's converted over. It's just going to suck until then. And the room is 
Oh, what? It's like one point off. Um, is there art we can steal? There's this decorative plant. Yeah, I'm gonna put this instead in the um. So Scala, go fetch that planter. No, don't ro romance. Incorrect. All right, sounds good. Influence Jespis, enslave Obar, and citizen Umpo. That's what we have to do. Because both of these prisoners are going to become one a slave and one a citizen, I'm going to offer them meds. So that if they get infections, they don't die. Then my weight team on perishable meals. And I think we're all set. Looking good. Lupercalia. What is the ETA? Lupercalia is the lantern festival, right? Yeah, seven hours. What's a little tricky about that is, uh... We don't have a lot of wood, like, close by. Oh, Dav... Oh, no. I misread that. I thought that was Daris, not Davis. So with that planter, this is now extremely impressive. So the bedroom's all set for Jespus. And all we have to do is ride out to this bandit camp, kill a bunch of fire home of Fovens. And I think what I'll do is... Trigger the Lupercalia, and then send a team out to go kill the Foven. I want to do the celebration first. And we'll use the arena for it. Instead of, um, like an open field. I think I'm going to trigger this at midnight, because the lanterns are going to look real nice uh, in the middle of the night. I had mentioned with the extra steel that we got that I would um, set up better septic tanks so that we didn't have to constantly manually purge the uh, poo. So I'll get that set up. I'm not really sure how many septic tanks I need for a population our size because we have a lot of people. So that is to be calculated for sure. So I think what's happening here is the senators can't find access to wood. So if I put, uh... Western Republic Villa. If I put the Western Republic Villa... Where I get, um... Or give them access to the shelf, it should be fine. And I want everyone participating. I don't care about the 10 minimum requirement. Everyone, everyone comes. More lanterns! I hope there's enough, like, unroofed space in this area. 
gonna be a little bit shoulder to shoulder. Oh my god. Uh, quite shoulder to shoulder? I, we filled the area. <laughs> Maxis didn't even attend. Because there was no space. Please don't be boring. That was pretty cool. Huh? Huh? Ah! Oh, I was impressed. Maybe I just get... We, we had two and a half times the participants than it required, and the game was like, no! <laughs> it was boring. Fine. Whatever game. It was unimpressive. I, I was impressed. I liked it. Maybe we have to kill some people in a duel or something. Fussy gods with their fussy requirements. So come morning, I'll pack up a caravan and uh, send a war team out to kill the Foven. Given that the Foven are all, like, fire breathers, I definitely want a lot of range, because I don't really want them breathing fire on me. And, um... Side, thank you for the, uh, the bits again. Cheers, dude. I haven't been, um... Maybe I'll do that first. I haven't really been tending to the clothing dye that I should be. So I'm going to wake people up and start um, dyeing the clothing so that at least when we're marching under the banner of a senator, we don't look like ragtag idiots. I don't think Elbow's even going on this one, but still, I want everyone to look correct before heading out. Might not be the morning, but that's fine. I'll do the slaves later, though. Obviously, the slaves aren't being deployed out for combat. People are looking a little bit more uniformed now. It's easy to, like, let it go lax. Hmm. Maybe before we go, we do a coordinated, um... Rhino hunt or something. Because we are low on meat. Oh, well, let's definitely kill the grizzly bear first. Obar converted. Okay, so now we can actually enslave him. I screwed that up. It's weird that you can break their will, re-arrest them, and then you have to break their will again. 
Seems, um, odd to me. As you may have noticed, I don't even set up harvest zones for the, uh, Ambrosia. We, we tend to have so much of it. Alright, who's left to change gear? You are. A little bit of a delayed start on our war campaign, but I'll still get it done before the end of stream. Hit Sivia. Haste makes waste. And I was in a haste to 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 hunt. But it's fine. Everyone survived. That's lots of meat. Uh, I think all of our... Or almost all of our combatants have the right colorings. I think just Joshua's the last one left. And we spent all day doing that. So, let's not waste any more time and deploy our caravan out now. So, Deus. Gagu. Bicus, Lucia, and Ray. One, two, three, four, five. That works. With one, two, three, four, five horses. I have five bedrolls by default, I think. Um, forget the grills. Bring ruined grills, because why not? And then bring mm, jerky. Herbal medicine's fine. And send. Off they go. Right, the other muffalo over here, I decided to tame them. Because even if the muffalo population that we designated exceeds, we'll just like auto slaughter them and it'll be fine. I also don't think that we're really using the eggs at all, but it, we use it for, like, mayonnaise. Is that right? There's one of the condiments that require it. Mayo, I think. Yeah. So I guess we still need egg layers. But, I did decide that uh, the ducks were doomed. But I bought a drake? I don't know. But yeah. Ducks are doomed. We'll just go with chicken egg layers. It's weird that they're scared of the ambient temperature. It's like 12 degrees Celsius. It's not going to kill you. They're just being silly. Okay, off they go.
to fulfill Jespis Matson's uh, request for conquest. Are you naked? Yes. And you're sitting on my pews? You're all naked. Oh, right, because you're the Boken Doctrine. Ugh. We're gonna have to scrub those pews. So you've got two days of food, they're about a half day away, and they're attacking the bandit camp on the orders of Jespus. And that is the final Western Republic Senator to influence, which upon getting him, uh, we'll be able to make legionary armor, sell weapons higher, and get the beacons where when raids occur, we have a 25% chance of automatic friendly reinforcements. It's not something I need. In fact, it's going to be a bit of a problem because it's going to fill this cemetery up, probably. But... Eh, whatever. I like I like the the backup. It's not bad. We'll just have a ever expanding cemetery to deal with. Looks like my water towers are a little low on water. This may be a result of low pumping. So I'm also going to double up my uh, my pump capacity. Because it would be pretty terrible to run out of water. I don't think it's the result of the... Actually, it could be the result of the water wells being tapped. Um... And if that's the case, I'll give them access to... another... Uh... Another water source. Although this is deep water. Um, so have a go. As, I mean, technically, I could bridge up the deep water. I, I, you know, that feels like a very Roman thing to do. Right? Just get the best water possible in the deep. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, structure. Where is it? We'll do deep water granite bridge and then regular granite bridge and then plumbing. Doris, if you convert combo 5.6, we're going to need a ritual and to get real lucky. So let's kick off said ritual, I guess. And I doubt I'll get lucky. I'm sure it will fail. Let's hope at least they put the towel down. Oh, we're sitting right in their muck. Well, we'll see. And right as we're doing the conversion ritual, we'll also have the fight on hand. Yadaris, where is the, uh... Oh, yeah. Okay, you're bringing him. That took a while. 
I'm going to tell the raid party to rest a minute so that I'm not doing two things at once. Yeah, I think it I think it's uh low wind due to the fog which is causing the water shortage. It's not the lack of a well capacity. It's the lack of wind power. It was effective, and it lowered it 30%, which isn't much considering it went from 100 to 70, but it's a start. Oh, they have like a little mountain base. That's cool. If it's living like cavemen. It's funny that the uh, Ibex are smarter than they are. Like the Ibex saw the arrow fire and was like, I'm getting the hell out of here. And the Fovens are just like, oh, this is fine. Stop breathing your garbage on me. Here's Jespus. Coming in with a javelin. If we take a look at a research tree, we now have beacons as a result of all of the Western Republic's favor. Which means we can build a beacon. Jespus, there's your bedroom. You are gourmet meals, novels, drugs, schedule. I haven't taken a look at your personality, but let's take a look. Steadfast. Oh, you're like the only one that like I like. All the others were neurotic and horrible, but you are okay. Um, cool. Gagu is a little on fire. Well, he'll be all right. No, no serious burns. And let's check out their little base. So there's one that we could capture. But you know what? Jespis told us to clear them out. So clear them out, I shall. No prisoners. Not this time. Any of you five do doctoring? No. Deus pretends to do doctoring, so Deus pretend to be a doctor. Gross. Alright. Yeah, they had some jade. Tenable Bank, thank you for the raid, by the way. Sorry, I missed that. And welcome. You were playing Sims? Oh, uh, that's a game I haven't touched in... forever. Welcome to the stream. So I'm stealing these guys, Smoke Leaf and Flower and Jade, and leaving everything else behind. Good job, away team. You done just as proud. So we have a full villa of Western Republic senators. I think it's probably time to have the meals stored in here go up to 10. and to cook more of the gourmet meals. Let's do up to 14. Oh, right, why isn't that linked?
There we go. No, get out, Rast. How are you even in there? Oh, because the meat kept the door open. We do have a little bit of a fresh water shortage that I hope to be solving. It looks actually better. It's going up. But I was uh, a wee bit concerned. And then our sewage holding, I think, is going up as well. I mean, we just doubled our capacity, so hopefully that is helping. And uh, as soon as we add this well, uh, we ought to have a lot more fresh water available to us. Corpses are also, uh, well, you know, doing their desiccating thing. And now all that we have left is the bridge to the well. That was definitely a project needing doing. I, I'm glad I noticed. It's actually pretty easy not to notice because I put the iron, uh, the water towers like off in the middle of nowhere. Like, kind of in the corner, and uh, easily overlooked. So the ground capacity here is 1,300 liters, 1,300 liters, and then this one is 3,000. So this 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 well capacity is, like, doubling our uh, water that we could have access to. Um, so, yeah, it should be a pretty big boon. And I might put another one in down here, too, uh, once that one's done. Just to make sure it doesn't happen twice. But I'll micromanage that. So the current priority right now is Enslave, Obar, um, Citizen, Combo, and Fix Water Shortage. You were having a kind of a chill, sit back, and hang kind of day? Uh, that makes sense. It's a good way to spend a Sunday, I think. There's a lot more wild boar. So we can make up for like our premature culling that we did. Because that in hindsight was maybe not a great time. Or I set up the auto slaughter in a way that maybe not was was not that effective. Away team's home with a little bit more flour and a little bit more jade and stories to tell about the how uh, Gagu got absolutely <laughs> roasted from all of the uh, <laughs> from, from all the impids. The one really annoying part about trying to kill impids and breathing all that fire. So, senators, you don't really have nice meals. I think you all just ate though. Looking at your food meters. Where's the slaves? I see a bunch of the meals. Oh yeah, here's Fowen and Branya uh, hauling it. It's out there. It's fine. It's not a shortage. That's yeah, good. And Jespis getting a work frenzy, which is funny because you never work. So I think 
Yeah, we are indeed building that bridge. Now, technically, I didn't need the shallow bridge. I just needed the deep bridge, but I wanted to build the shallow bridge, too. Just because it will look nice and bright. But what's crazy is I don't seem to have enough stone cutting. But I don't understand where all of my... Like, what all of the slaves are doing. Maybe I have to just watch slaves. So some of the slaves are coming out here to tame animals. I think that's what Lilipor was doing, and certainly Belf. Delpierre is farming. Tokus is obviously the waiter. Scala's farming. Nabla's farming. Otlu is cleaning. So Otlu... Stone cut. Cerise, stone cut. So I have some more stone cutters now to help with the that backlog. I think I can probably put all of my citizens as, as potential stone cutters when they're not busy. Well, friends. I am gonna wrap it up here, having fully influenced the Western Empire. Um, I could build a beacon, perhaps I should maybe build a beacon uh, right outside of the Pantheon somewhere. Truthfully, the beacon would be close to the gate, so maybe I'll put a beacon here. But we finally finished the West Empire's Senators. And that means that we'll be pivoting next stream to start to influence the Central or Eastern Republic. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Lycan Legion, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 10th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. Amid all the way to the credits, thank you so very much. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow legionaries.